Have you heard the buzz? There's a new honeycomb. Hi, I'm John Nettleton from Solid Run, and this is the latest addition to our honeycomb family of mini ITX boards. And this is one that's designed around our AMD embedded Ryzen V3000 ComExpress Type 7 module. Uh, what this module is providing is eight Zen 3 cores up to 16 threads. You get DDR5 SO DIMMs that support up to 64 gigabytes of ECC memory. You have 20 lanes of PCIe Gen 4 that are brought out on the ComExpress Type 7. In the Honeycomb specific configuration, we are using two of them for native 10 gigabit SFP plus networking. We got an RJ45 uh, 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet, dual SATA, 12 lanes of PCIe Gen 4, four brought out to the NVMe slot, and another eight to the PCIe header. Uh, we have USB 3.2 on both the back of the panel as well as the header itself. Of course, it's mini ITX, so you have your AT, standard ATX power selector uh, and the pin headers, etc. So really, this is ready to drop into any standard mini ITX compatible case, uh, either a 1RU or a, a full desktop case. Of course, you can add whatever expansion you want or even like a storage NAS type configuration. The kit itself comes with our carrier, uh, ComExpress Type 7, and our custom heat sink we've designed. It's a very effective cooling solution. It has mounting holes. You can even add a 60 millimeter fan, which is more enough to cool this platform because the B3000 has a configurable TDP. You can go from a 15 watt TDP all the way up to a 45 watt TDP uh, with all the advanced power states that AMD is included inside this, you can have a system with 10 gigabit uh, routing to can sit idly there, sipping power at seven to 11 watts. And then if you want to do some very advanced processing, that will scale itself up, you know, to 50, 70 watts of full power consumption under full load. That's actually using it more as a server. Uh, the edge capabilities are infinite. Um, because of the expansion, you can make it a storage device, a smart networking edge. Uh, you could add GPUs if you wanted to do machine learning on it. Some advanced, obviously, with the 10 gigabit networking and all the cores, you can really ingest a lot of data and process it very quickly. Um, but overall, and additionally, for software, because it's an x86-64 platform, of course, you can run uh, Microsoft Windows, uh, any of the various Linux distributions, modern ones, uh, most of the BSDs. You can do things like run VMware or Proxmox, which should run on it no problem at all. And really, you can use it as a home lab, run K8s, whatever you want. But additionally, um, because this is all native, AMD's done a great job and there's full support for this platform in DPTK already in mainline. So you can run DPTK, SPDK, do development on platforms like this. Um, really, for a developer, this is fantastic as a small home server. You know, you can even stick it in a small case like this. Um, this is headless by default. Uh, we do have a UART as a serial console for remote control. Um, but could be paired with the GPU if you wanted to put it in a bigger case. But ideally, you can tuck it away, fit it to a platform that you want. Uh, it's not going to overheat. It's not going to be loud. It's a very nice platform. And then if you decide you don't want the specific platform, but you love the ComExpress Type 7, then you can design your own carrier and move our, move our platform over to it. And that covers the honeycomb. Really excited about it. You can find it at shop.solid-run.com or if you just want to look at more of the schematics or information about the platform itself, go to www.solid-run.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.